Hi, welcome back to I've Had Worse, and today I'm trying Mana Brea. At least that's the pronunciation I've decided to go with, and I've looked at various sites and I'm sticking with that one. It's brewed in Biella, uh, Italy, um, and it's actually imported and brewed in Italy, which is nice, although the Italians do make a cracking Japanese Ashaya? Ash Ash Asahi. Asahi. I can't pronounce these things. I'll put a link. Asahi. So they do a pretty good uh, Japanese beer. So let's see what their own tastes like. Okay. So these are all, this is a, it just says a blonde premium lager. So again, as with most lagers, I'm expecting a very pale. Okay. This is a, um, it's a 4.8 in a 660 ml bottle um, and again came from Morrison's, uh, they've got a good range of beers and I've been picking up, you get um, three fairly large bottles, uh, certainly five, uh, 500 ml and above for about a fiver. So we've got, again, a very sort of pale, gentle carbonation rising up there. Head is sticking around, sticking to the glass, so that's quite nice. That's interesting. Sort of white pepper on the nose, that sort of peppery. And I was expecting something sort of yeasty, that nice sort of yeasty smell, but overall, not much of a head there. Not much of a head, not much of an aroma. Yeah, white pepper, I'll go with that one. That head is dissipating a bit. Okay, cheers. So very lightly carbonated, nice mouthfeel. Doesn't feel too, too thin. There's not much going on there. It's a subtle malts coming through, very subtle. That bitterness is just there on the back. It's very pleasant, but it doesn't really have a lot going on. Just have to try again. No, it's not got a great deal going for it. No, that's wrong. It's not got big flavours or it does not shouting a lot at me. But it's got something there that it's really is quite quaffable. That head's virtually dissipated now. Yeah, it's a really subtle beer or lager. But you could sink a couple of these, no problem. That goes, it's a very easy drinking. Not a big flavour, very subtle, that bitterness. Again, it's there, but very subtle. But you could drink a couple of these, no problem. Mm, it's a subtle flavour, subtle bitterness. Okay. So, the old question, would I recommend it? It's incredibly drinkable. If you offered me one, I would not be offended. And you could have, it's light enough that you could have a couple of these in the summer, you know, sit in the garden uh, and you'd really enjoy them. I don't think it's got enough going about it that I'd recommend it and say, you know, you really must try that. Um, but it's not bad. So it's, yeah, enjoyable but I wouldn't recommend it. And that's because it's just not saying enough to me um, to stand out from a, you know, any other good lager out there. It's, you know, it's not shouting at it. Um, so, Manabrea or Manabira. See, I've even changed my mind then how I pronounce it. Italian beer from that there, Italy. 
uh, from Morrison's. So give it a go if you're interested. Um, I hope you're enjoying these as much as I am. Um, to all those that have joined me recently and subscribed, thank you very much. Your support is very much appreciated. Um, and be good to yourselves.